Hey, welcome back. I'm Sean Barr, and at Looking Point, we help IT organizations make decisions around collaboration, security, and networking. Today, we're talking about what we carry in our bag as we go out into the field and deploy, and this is a Tech Talk. We're back and we are talking what tools we carry in our bag as we're deploying networking infrastructure, networking gear, make sure that we're efficient and we've got everything we need. So this video was inspired by what Peter McKinnon did on some of his videos around what he carries in his bag and cameras and it just gave me this idea that, hey, as a network engineer, it'd be nice to know what other network engineers carry in their bags. Let's get into it. We got two bags that we kind of strap together. They're, they kind of hang out and we've got actually a little label on this stuff for the no-fly bag. Essentially, you have to check this bag. You can't carry it on because it's got some sharp items, which we're gonna get into in a minute. And this is what you can carry on. So let's start out with, with this bag. So let me unsnap them together, unsnap them. And the snaps are really good because they're, they're tactical. They're hard to get off. So anyway, here's the first bag. This bag has a lot of stuff in it. So let's get into it. So the first thing in the stuff bag is if you ever needed to take a note, you could take a note with this tactical pen, it's super heavy duty tactical. You can write with it, which is a good feature to have in a pen. The second thing is if you ever need to break glass to get out of wherever you're at, maybe you're stuck in a server and you just pop, pop the glass, pop out, you saved your life, and it's because you had this tool. The other thing is if you were in a server room and maybe somebody's walking by and you're like, hey, I don't think that guy belongs here. With this pen, you could take a DNA sample. Got their DNA. Take it home with you. Maybe send it off to you know 23andMe and find out where they're from, and I don't know, some interesting things could happen. That's about all this pen does. It's just a pen. So the next thing is zip ties and Velcro straps. Now, anytime you're running Cat6 cable, you're patching something in, or maybe you just want to clean up some cables after you've deployed some network gear, that's why they're in the bag, because you, you just want to have them. The next thing is a Cat6 cable. So the Cat6 cable is just an Ethernet cable that you could connect a switch to, you could connect your laptop to, maybe you're running an AP and you just don't have another patch cable. Having this in the bag is critical. Uh, maybe wireless is down. Maybe you just need to plug in you could do it with this cable and just a cable. Easy, boom, off we go. The next thing is one-time use super glue. Now this, I had never really seen this before until I was watching that Peter McKinnon video, which I was talking about, and he pulled this out and I was like, I gotta have that. I gotta have that. I don't know why I need it, but having these little mini micro little super glue things, maybe you're gluing the front of a switch back on, or maybe a tab broke off and you want to glue it, but it just looks so cool. I wanted an excuse to buy it and stick it in the bag because there's going to be that one time where you're just going to go, I wish I had some super glue, and you're like, bam, there it is. So that's why it's in the bag for those hero moments. The next thing is an SD or uh, SD card reader. A lot of times laptops don't have these now. You just plug it in, you plug in your cards if you need to move data around. Whatever, you could do it with this. That's why it's in the bag. The next thing is an HDMI adapter. So if you're gonna share content maybe in a conference room or maybe you wanna to connect to a TV, you need this dongle because maybe your laptop doesn't have an HDMI connector on the side of it. Having this dongle makes life, again, easier. This is wonderful when you need to charge something. It's just a USB to mini, mini little connectors. And so if you have to charge your iPhone, maybe you need to charge your Bluetooth speaker. Maybe you need to charge an Android phone. Maybe you need to charge, I don't know, your battery backup. You have all those connectors here, you've got your USB, and you can charge whatever you need to charge. So, that's it. Next thing, now this. This is a great thing, this is awesome. This is, this is better than, it's better than sitting in a cold server room, I'll tell you that. It's an air console, and this can connect to the network. Whoop. You can connect to the network, or you can use it wirelessly. And essentially you plug in this little USB dongle uh, here and you plug this into your console connection and you can just leave it dangling because this is the battery edition. We got the battery in there so it's just can just run on its own. Um, you connect to it wirelessly, like I said, you connect to it through Bluetooth or you can connect to it through the ethernet port. But this will save you from sitting in those server rooms just freezing to death 
as uh, you're keying in some configuration. You can do it from the comforts of the outside of the server room with your coffee in hand, feeling great, watching all these people walk by you uh, just to go freeze in the data center. So this is great if you need wireless console connection. Power. Uh, you know, you ever been on one of those long support calls and you're waiting and on hold and whatever and your phone's like beep, 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 dying and you may not have your charger with you or you may be in a place where you can't plug it into a wall outlet. Having this will just ensure that your phone's always charged. Maybe you've got something else like a Bluetooth speaker you're rocking out in the server room and you need power for it. You plug it in and you're good to go and you need it. So the next thing in the first bag is just the traditional USB console because sometimes when you've taken down the network or there's something major going on with the network, you don't want to fool around with a wireless console. You don't want to mess with that. You don't want to waste time. So you just want to be able to connect USB to the console, USB console, tried and true, easy to use. That's what this is for. So that's all in the bag. So that is it for bag one. Let's talk bag two. Bag two, this is where all the tools are. And so uh, let's open this thing up. Every time I open this up, I feel like it's like a little mini Christmas and I'll show you why. It's because when you open it up, when you open it up, you see oh, all this stuff. It's all just, it's all black and tactical and matching and you're kind of curious because it's all blending in, but it's not really. It's exciting when you open this up. So the first thing is just a, uh, it's a, it's a cage nut tool. We've done a video on the cage nut tool. Uh, but just having this saves your fingers as you're racking equipment. You pull the cage nut through, boop, pops it in there, kind of like that. That's what it is. Just a simple piece of metal. Boom, cage nut. So the next thing is the knife. So I can't think of a really, really good reason to have a knife when you're network, you know, you're racking networking equipment outside of opening a box, maybe a switch box. So the thing is cool. It's super tactical. It's all black. If you got like maybe a line caught as you're parachuting out of your plane and you need to cut away, you could do that with this. Maybe if you know, you're uh, trying to decide if you're going to run layer two or layer three and somebody's disagreeing with you, you pop the thing out and you're like popping it open and maybe you're kind of fiddling it around. And you're like, no, I think we should run, I think we should run layer three. And then maybe, maybe it just ends it right there. Maybe they're like, yeah, I agree. I agree. And you're like, okay, cool. Well, let me go open that switch. So I, that's why I pulled this out. It wasn't, it wasn't a thread. It was just, I was just going to go open a box like this knife. It's pretty cool. So the screwdriver is not just a screwdriver. It's got multi bits. So it's a flathead right now, but I could slide it out and I could go, Hmm, I'll take the Phillips Phillips. And then you're like, ah, no, 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 no. A little bit bigger Phillips. Boom. No flathead. Nope. Bigger flathead. Boom. There it is. So basically every bit that you need is in here and it pulls it out and you spin it around and you find the right bit and you push it out and boom, you're ready to go. Let's go with the pliers. Now these pliers are great. Anytime, maybe you need to get a cage nut out or maybe you need to pull out a screw or maybe you need to bend an ear. Maybe you need to, I don't know, you broke your screwdriver and you need a, a screwdriver. Maybe you need to open a bottle. You've got a bottle opener. This is a file. Oh, you need to file your nails. You could do that. Keep some, keep some file. It's good. So pliers need to have that in the bag. So on to my favorite thing. This is the most favorite thing of the tools bag. Well, there was a lot of favorite things. This is the favorite favorite. And um, you're probably going, okay, what is this little thing? Of... So first, let me just show you. This boop, 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 boop. Yeah, so it's a lighter, windproof lighter. And uh, when you press it, this is when the magic happens because, you know, everybody's seen the torch lighter, this and that, but who's seen that? I mean, that is so cool. Every time I look at it, every time I hold it, every time I flip it open, every time I hit the button, it just feels so cool. And it, I don't know what you would ever use this for when doing networking, but having it in the kit just knows that, you, you just know if I need to light something, maybe you need to do a little soldering with a heat shrink tubing, you need to shrink the tube. You could do it with this, or maybe uh, maybe your buddy is a smoker, or maybe you're a smoker, I don't know, and you need to light a cigarette just doing it with this. Your day is just so much better when you're using this. When you're flicking it open and you're hitting it, 
and it's all black and it matches and it just feels like you're you're doing something of importance. It's tactical. Uh, you're saving the world one light at a time kind of thing. Anyway, so this has to be in the bag. Uh, it's really cool and I love it. So that is it. Then we got a little charging cable in here for, for it so you never run out of power. And you could use that battery to maybe charge it. Enough about the lighter. Uh, if you want to get this or any of the other stuff that we talked about, we're going to put the links down below. If I said anything in this video that you're like, hey, I'd love to know more about that, leave a comment. Make sure you like and subscribe so you get all of our content as we release it. And we'll see you on the next Tech Talk. Thanks for watching.